feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and we're feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and we're feeling it right. Everybody so the last minute scan right. criteria I want to show you is actually a scan criteria that was shown to me this morning by a Ticker Tank Ultimate member. So I have a product called Ticker Tank Ultimate. Uh, it's very hands-on. I'm on the phone with individuals. They're sharing their screen. And uh, this particular individual, you know, he's a subscriber to my alert systems before he was a Ticker Tank Alert or Ticker Tank Ultimate subscriber. Um, so he gets the earning trades alerts. He knows I trade earnings a lot. And he showed me a scan that he had set up where it's only going to show him earnings that are coming up that have, you know, most likely have weekly options associated with them. So <clears throat> the way he built it, I think it's really cool. Uh, we go down here to create new scan query. And we're going to call it earnings with weeklies. And we want all optionable here. So we're going to scan in all optionable. Because, of course, we want everything with um, options and earnings. And then we're going to delete all the filters here. First thing we're going to do is add an option filter. And we're going to go to days till expiration. Minimum zero. If I remember correctly, it was 10 as the max. So essentially what you're saying there is, does this optionable underlying have short duration options available? So options that have a minimum of zero days till expiration, maximum of 10 days. So basically that's going to pick up weeklies or if it's your standard expiration um, you know, is, is expiring within this 10 day period, it's going to pick that up as well. Then he went to add study filter. Let me make sure I remember this correctly. Corporate actions and earnings, yep. So it's going to say has an earnings announcement anytime because we don't care if it's before the market or after the market. Just anytime. Anytime in the next 10 bars. Change that to 7. So essentially it's going to be anytime in the next 7 days because uh, you're looking at daily bars here. So basically what that's telling you is has an earnings announcement anytime in the next 7 bars. Since you're looking at daily bars, anytime in the next 7 days. So anytime in the next week. And of course we can change this to 500. Uh, we can sort, you don't really need to sort any particular way. Um, so you can hit save here, and then we'll go up to load scan query, personal, earnings with weeklies. It's going to load up our criteria right there. We hit scan. And here we go. We've got a list of names that are reporting earnings in the next uh, seven days, essentially. Seven trading days, and that have weekly options. Most like, well, definitely have weekly options in this case, since uh, March expiration is roughly 15 days out from today. Um, so it's a pretty cool scan. I really liked it. It helps me out a lot because I want the shortest duration possible. And generally, if underlyings have uh, short duration, you know, weekly options available, there's a pretty decent chance that there's going to be some uh, liquidity in those options going into that earnings event. Now the only downside to this particular search is that it will pick up any before market, uh, any, anything that's reported before market that day. For example, Joy Global reported this morning. If you click here, earnings on 3.6.14 before market. Today is uh, March 6th. It's currently 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 6.01 to be exact. And you know, it's picking this up because we have zero days as our minimum days to expiration. And uh, so basically, there's no way to really avoid that. You just have to figure out which ones are reporting after. So you can click on the little light bulb there, and you can see here this QIHU is reporting after market. So that would have been a, a candidate to at least look at today um, as a you know before the market closed as a potential candidate. You know this is this really comes in handy, especially during the peak of earnings season. Helps you weed out some names and. In, the case, in this particular instance, this I may not have even known that this particular one had weekly options associated with it, and he pointed it out this morning. I didn't know, you know, it had it has some really nice volatility associated with it. If you compare it to April, you know, you're looking at 70% in April versus 170 on these March one weeklies that expire tomorrow, and uh, so you're looking at almost two and a half times IV differential between April and these March one weeklies. And, you know, there was some decent opportunity here in QIHU. The only problem I had with it was liquidity. And it wasn't quite liquid enough. There wasn't quite enough volume 
and open interest, and the bid-ask spreads were pretty wide. So I just stayed away from it personally. But it still doesn't mean there was an opportunity there, you know, and I wouldn't have even seen it in the past. But now I have this cool little scan that he, he created. It's so simple, but it makes so much sense. So I love it. All right, that wraps up this particular video. On the last video, I'm going to just kind of show you how to utilize this really efficiently and effectively utilize all these different uh, scan tools that we just created.